Pixels are the new game element for the 2023-2024 first tech challenge game, Center Stage. But how do I pick up a pixel? Pixels are hexagons that are half an inch thick, three inches wide face to face, and have a one and a quarter inch hexagonal hole in the center. Pixels come in four different colors, yellow, green, purple, and white. Most of the pixels in the field are white, but about 30 out of around 100 pixels are colorful pixels. Pixels start on the field in stacks of five laid down horizontally opposite the backdrops. Pixels can also be placed on the field by human players in either of the two wings in any orientation they choose. Note that pixels are scored at an angle, not horizontal or vertical. If you attempt to place a pixel in the backdrop at the wrong angle, it could easily fall off. While at first glance, picking a pixel may seem easy, there is some nuance to how it interacts with the real world. The first challenge is how thin it is. When laying flat on the floor, pixels are pretty hard to pick up, because whatever mechanism you have to try and pick it up off the floor has to be that much closer to the floor to get within that half inch range where you can actually grip it. It's a bit difficult to get into this range without also having your mechanism drag on the floor. The next challenge is the pixel's material. It's not rough or textured, it's pretty smooth, and generally slides freely across most surfaces. To grab it, you'll probably need some sort of grippy material or a pretty high grip strength device. At Anymark, we offer a number of products that can help improve your grip. We recommend the softer material compliant wheels. These 35A durometer compliant wheels really compress when you press them against a pixel. Well, if you take something like the black wheel and press it against, it doesn't really compress at all. The higher compression gives you better grip and allows you to pick up that game piece a lot easier. Because the game piece isn't uniformly shaped, these compliant wheels allow you to get a grip at any orientation you may be approaching the game piece at. The Pixel also has a couple of features that make it easier to pick up. For instance, it is hexagonal, which means it's super easy to orient or position inside your robot once you've collected it. Additionally, the Pixel also has this center hole, which really opens up your options when it comes to collecting, scoring, or holding onto one of these pixels. Using the Anymark Robit system, we've come up with a couple of different examples for how you could pick up a pixel. This first example is a horizontal claw, intended to pick up vertical pixels, placed by a human player in the wing. It's a simple claw, that positions the pixel as shown, has a pretty strong grip, and can release just like that. Positives about this design are that it's very simple, easy to use, and your intake mechanism is the same as your scoring mechanism. It also avoids that scraping across the ground problem that we were talking about earlier. Cons with this design include the fact that you can only pick up from the human player stations positioned in a specific way that may be difficult to align to, and you can only really pick up one pixel at a time. This is an inverse pincher claw. Simply insert into the hole of the game piece, run the servo, and now you have it in your grip. In this design, when the servo spins, the distance between these two bolts grows. When it's inside this one inch hole, that means that they go from one diameter to a different diameter, closing the gap between the pixel and the claw. Here, the rubber bands are used to get additional grip on the game piece. One pro of this design is that you can pick up game pieces from virtually anywhere on the field, so long as they're in this horizontal orientation that they sort of naturally settle to. One con with this design is you have to be pretty specific with how you orient your intake mechanism to the pixel to actually collect it. On the Anymark Robot Center Stage robot, we use a vertical spinning claw that sucks up one game piece using those green 35A compliant wheels we talked about earlier. This intake is particularly neat because it prevents you from having to be so specific with how you line up to the game piece to collect it. Pixels are a vital and fundamental part of playing the center stage game. You want to design your robot specifically to pick up pixels and get them across the field as quickly as possible. Make sure to consult the game manual when designing your robot for this year's challenge. And that is how you pick up a pixel.